Hey guys, Big Films 39 here with my monthly series, This Month in Blu-ray, where I preview all of the Blu-ray releases coming out this month. Um, this is for October, and um, I've been uh, pretty late with these videos recently. Last couple of months I upload them uh, a couple weeks into the month, and uh, glad that I'm uh, able to do this pretty early and actually before the start of the month so um hopefully that's uh better and i'm just going to talk about uh what i think are the the most important releases this month what i'm looking forward to getting um and uh yeah uh let me know what movies you guys are looking to pick up um as always i'm using blu-ray.com using their release calendar and um, let's get started. So October 7th, uh, fairly big uh, release day. We have Edge of Tomorrow coming out on Blu-ray. And um, I missed this in the theaters, heard that it was really good. So um, definitely let me know if, um, if this is worth buying, if you think it's worth blind buying. Um, they do have a Target Steelbook for it, which I think looks pretty cool. And... Um, thinking about picking that up, but uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys would let me know what you thought of this. Um, I will tell you that I did not like Oblivion, um, another Tom Cruise sci-fi movie that came out uh, almost a year and a half ago now. Um, and uh, if I didn't like that, um, let me know if you think uh, I could still like this one. Um, and let me know if it... Uh, you know how the action is in it because uh you know I'm a big action guy but um I'm uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to get that or not if I do I would definitely like to get the Target Steelbook there which I think um the pre-order price is uh 28 bucks on their site but I'm sure it will be cheaper in store they're usually about uh 25 bucks and then also we have Sleeping Beauty coming out um the re-release uh, the first movie, um, first Blu-ray Disney movie to be re-released from the vault. Um, I have the original, uh, release, um, and, uh, I like the artwork here. A little more, uh, generic, I think, than the artwork on the original release, but, um, uh, looks nice. Originally, when I saw the trailer for the re-release, they said they were going to um, update the picture and quality, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. And if you look at the specs here, um, I mean, they're the same uh, 1080p, uh, which obviously, um, you know, is the the top uh, resolution there, but um, it's the same as for the original release. Um, audio at least uh what they or well actually now it says uh to be announced but i think uh a week ago they had uh, the same audio as the other one um i definitely won't buy it just for the audio but um if you have any information about uh the picture quality if that's going to be improved in any way in a significant way um let me know or um if you do buy this release and you have the original one to compare it to let me know because I would be interested in having the updated picture quality, but um, I think uh, with a Blu-ray release, that's uh, going to be hard to do um, to have a significant uh, uh, improvement of the picture quality. Um, and I think they added a few new special features, but um, it seems like uh, from what I see on the forums that people are not... Uh, uh, really looking forward to it. Um, they, they're satisfied with the original release. Let's keep going. The Never Ending Story, I believe this is the, f the first time this is uh, being released on Blu-ray. And uh, this is a movie that I watched on VHS over and over again when I was really young and really don't remember much about it, just that I watched it many, many times. And I'll probably have to get it eventually uh, just for that reason. A Million Ways to Die in the West um, looked really stupid. Uh, what's that guy's name? Um, the guy who wrote Ted. Uh, I can't even remember his name. But um, I'm not really interested in uh, 
seen that movie, let me know how it is. Also, The NeverEnding Story 2, which uh, I also watched that one. I don't, not as much as the first, but uh, I'll have to check it out sometime. And there's a Steelbook for Edge of Tomorrow that I was talking about. Looks like it comes with a ticket for something. I don't know what it says. I don't know, it looks like some meaningless crap. Now we have, uh, it's a very merry Muppet Christmas movie. Um, I've never seen this one. I think it's pretty recent, uh, about 10 years old or so. Um, but let me know how this is. I'll probably be getting it just because I'm a big Disney collector. Um, I saw the Muppets Christmas Carol last year, which I really thought was really nice. Um, I don't know how good this one will be, but uh, I'll probably be getting that one. If it's If it's pretty bad, pretty mediocre, let me know so I don't have to buy it. Um, Alien, uh, 35th anniversary. I don't believe there's any, uh, improvement with this over the original release. I think it's all the same, uh, picture quality and stuff. Um, not quite, not 100% sure on that, but, uh, I think the picture quality on the original um, Blu-ray box set is uh, pretty good. And um, I've only watched 1 and 2. Uh, I thought 1 was better overall. I know everyone likes the second one better. Um, but a, a good box set uh, to have if you don't already own those movies. Um, and this is a Best Buy exclusive slipcover uh, for Sleeping Beauty. I don't even think it's 3D. Um, they usually only did this with the 3D versions, but um, this looks like the regular combo pack. And yeah, it's just the, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It's not the 3D, but pretty nice artwork. Um, another option for a uh, slipcover there. And uh, a Target exclusive um, Sleeping Beauty uh, Blu-ray package that comes with like a separate storybook. Um, they started this with the Jungle Book, and I just think it's awful. Um, you know, originally they had the actual Digi Book um, that the the discs came in, and I, I had several of those. They did it for Peter Pan and Cinderella, and I'd probably buy that um, if they went back to that, uh, but. The separate storybook, I just, I don't care about it at all, and, um, I just, I don't think it's, uh, really worth getting. Christmas Carol, 1984, I don't know if that's the first time that's being released on Blu-ray. All Dogs Go to Heaven 1 and 2, I actually have the separate individual releases of this um and still haven't watched either of them got that a couple uh years ago a lot of double packs and things um robocop double feature which has uh, the original robocop and the new one um i guess a good deal uh Let's see how much it is. Thirty-six bucks uh, is the pre-order price, so that's a pretty terrible deal. Um, I thought the new movie was very mediocre, and I'd rather watch the original one uh, every single time. So um, I recommend just getting the original one uh, for the better movie, and you could get that you know much cheaper than even fifteen bucks. So I'd get the first one. A lot of double packs. We're going to move along here to October 14th. Um, X-Men Days of Future Past. Saw it in the theater. Can't wait to see it again. Um, 
just a, a great movie, top three of the year. And um, what was so impressive to for me about this movie was that there was very little action in it. And I'm a big action guy. Um, that's my biggest criticism of a lot of movies, a lot of superhero movies, especially these days, is that there wasn't enough action. I thought Man of Steel didn't have enough action. Um, even the the Dark Knight movies, you know, don't have a lot of action. Um, still great movies, but this had very little action. There was no big fight scene at the end, yet I still just loved the movie, which almost never happens uh, with me. Um, that's how good of a drama it was, how good the storytelling was, um, and how invested I was in the movie. Uh, I just never got bored with it at any point. Um, you know, scene to scene, everything felt important and, uh, um, love the movie. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting it. The Blob, uh, I saw the original version, which is pretty terrible. Um, never seen the 88 version and, uh, I'm not sure if that's the first time it's being released on Blu-ray. I assume it is a criterion here. My darling Clementine. And this is the Target Steelbook uh, for X-Men Days of Future Past. And to be honest, I prefer the artwork on uh, these versions here. There's the 3D and the regular. Um, but there is some nice uh, back artwork there. They don't show it here, but if you go to Target site, you can see it. And I actually pre-ordered this from Target. They had a good deal going on. Um, it was only twenty two ninety nine to pre order, and if you, pre I think the the offer is um, it's over now. But uh, they were you got a f uh, five dollar gift card in addition to pre ordering the movie for twenty two ninety nine. Um, I will warn you though, I've had terrible um, a terrible experience on multiple occasions pre ordering steel books from uh, Target. So just be aware of that. Um, they could. Uh, it's very possible that they will mess up your order and uh, not send you the steel book even if that's what you pre-order but um i'm hoping uh they uh, won't mess that up and um yeah i'm looking forward to receiving that and this looks like uh 3d ultimate edition um best buy exclusive i can see the sticker there on the box uh, looks like some artwork and some stuff but uh, I'm going with the Steelbook. Another 3D uh, version with the Magneto mask. Um, I think these are usually Amazon exclusives uh, or non-exclusives. But uh, there's another version of that. A Steelbook collection. And let's keep going through here. Another... Um, um, Walmart exclusive, uh, probably has some bonus content or something, but the same artwork as the regular 3D version for X-Men. Okay, moving along. Labor Day, this is already out on Blu-ray though. Um, not sure why it's here, but that's a decent movie. I would uh, at least watch it once if you've never seen it. Just came out uh, earlier this year. That's a good movie. Snowpiercer, I've heard this is uh, good. I want to see it. Haven't seen it yet. Um, another Criterion, La Dolce Vita. Vincent Price Collection, this is something uh, I've been aware of. Um, I think they announced this back, uh, I think before the summer sometime. But um comes with a bunch of uh, Vincent Price uh, movies. You can see there, Return of the Fly. That's the one I would be interested in. Um, if you've seen other Vincent Price movies, definitely let me know if you like them. Um, you know, I, obviously they're very old movies, but I, I can still enjoy old movies if they're good. I mean, they're good and bad old movies. Um, the Return of the Fly, though, that's a horror series. I saw the I saw the, there are three of them. I saw the second one. It was just mediocre, not as good as the first. The first one was really kind of special 
but the third one was also um that was pretty bad uh but um after seeing the second one i i don't want to buy this collection just for that movie uh i didn't think it was that good another criterion f for fake earth to echo which i thought the trailers just looked awful for that i mean it just looked like a it just looked like a remake of a super 8 And also, uh, Return of the Fly, you can get uh, just the individual Blu-ray release. And I like that artwork there, but um, be aware if you haven't seen it, uh, it's not as good as the first one really at all. Um, kind of mediocre. And I would probably, I recommend just renting it once to see if you like it. All right. And moving on, this is the... Getting to the end of the month here. Um, I believe these are uh, Scream Factory releases, Nightbreed. Um, these both say Director's Cut. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. One says Limited Edition. Uh, I always like the artwork on uh, these uh, Scream Factory releases, but um, I've never uh, seen these movies, and I've heard that uh, some of these horror movies which might seem kind of intriguing, uh, are actually pretty bad. Another criterion, the complete Jacques Tati. I have no idea what that is. I just like mentioning the criterions, uh, the vanishing. And that actually sounds kind of interesting. Planet of the Vampires, uh, looks cool from 1965. I have to check those out. some more double packs a lot of them uh despicable me too i remember uh, trying to watch the first one a long time ago and i couldn't even get through like more than 15 minutes of it i thought it was so bad um but i have to uh, watch that movie again sometime and uh check the second one out but um i, I didn't see it in theaters and uh, i think i heard it wasn't that good Traffic, uh, 1971, Criterion, Jour de Fete, Fete, 1949. And that's it. So um, not too much going on this month. Uh, big release day, the 7th and the 14th. The 7th, you have Sleeping Beauty, and um, which I didn't mention is a, a Diamond Edition release. Um A Diamond Edition release and also uh, Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, and then the 14th you have uh, X-Men Days of Future Past coming out. Um, which I'm definitely going to be getting one way or another. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. If there's anything I skipped over, anything you're uh, looking forward to getting, definitely let me know. I thought uh, Maleficent was uh, coming out this month. Making sure I didn't skip over it. Uh, let me check that because I was pretty sure Maleficent was coming out this month. It might be next month though. Or uh, November. Yes, yeah, that's coming out in November, so never mind. Um, Alright guys, um, thank you for watching. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, take care, and... Um, I want to see the box trolls, which just came out uh, this weekend. Um, hopefully I can see it next weekend. I plan to have a review for that. So um, be on the lookout for that. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.